Good morning from the Croatan National Forest near New Bern, North Carolina. Yeah, we're on a trek south down the east coast on our way to Disney World. Yay! <laughs> and we're going to meet Grammy Kay there, so you'll get to see her. Uh, but yeah, we figured we would take you along, show you our trek down the coast. So stick with us. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom, and we're RV Texas, y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. <laughs> that has become one of Astro's favorite spots. <laughs> This is our campsite at Planners Beach Campground. This is a forest service park in the Croatan National Forest, like I said, near New Bern, North Carolina. We're about 30 to 45 minutes from the coast. And uh, yeah, this is a nice little stop. Uh, we actually have 50 amp hookups here. There are some sites that are dry camping. Those look to be mostly smaller or tent sites. And then there are larger sites for RVs that have 30 and 50 amp electric. You don't have any water connections, but there are places to fill your tank and there is a dump station. So I'll show you around our site. This is site number 21. All of the campsites are in a single loop here. And right now the day use area and the beach area, which the beach goes to a river, they're not open because they're still recovering from some storm damage. Uh, but the campsites are in great shape. It's been very quiet. Now, uh, and I'll come on in and then I'll tell you the secret here. We have a couple lantern rings, we have a picnic table, we have a fire pit, and they say that every site here in this park is ADA accessible. Uh, so all of the fire pits and picnic tables are the same throughout the camping loop. Now, here's what we learned. This is Flanners Beach Campground, and it's in a larger national recreation area as part of the Croatan National Forest. So our GPS knew exactly where to go. It brought us the correct path uh, through. We turned onto Flanners Beach, uh, Flanners Beach Road, that is the last mention of Flanners Beach that we saw as we were coming in. So it can be a little bit confusing because you see uh, National Forest signs and you see uh, you know, signs that talk about the larger recreation area, but no more mention of Flanners Beach. And then you see signs that say the road's ending in say 750 feet, but you're not seeing any signs of a campground. Well, that road ending just means that you're almost to the National Forest actual, like, national federal area. The road continues, and in fact, the roads are in great shape. So don't worry about that. Just look for the little sign that has the little tent on it. It's going to point to the right, and that's where you turn in. There's a gate, but you just call. If the park host isn't out there, you just there's a phone number to call so that you can come in and come to your site. It's been a nice stopover. There's lots to see and do in the area, but unfortunately, we were just here for two nights. So we really just had one full day and we decided to put that day into video work. So we didn't get to explore this time, but maybe on the next stop.
Well, here we are, South Carolina, our next day. I don't think, I've driven through South Carolina, but I don't think I've ever stopped in South Carolina, have you? No, I, in fact, I'm, I don't even know if I've ever driven in South Carolina. I don't, this is, I think, my first time ever in South Carolina, just like, I believe it was my first time ever in North Carolina, where we just came from. And I, you know, I'm not 100% sure if I've actually driven through South Carolina or not, but now we have. Yep. We are in South Carolina. And we're going to stay in South Carolina, too. Yes, we are. Where are we staying? Where are uh, we Huntington Beach State Park. It's right on the coast. Uh, we've gotten some folks that have told us that it's worthy of stopping, so we are very excited to uh, to get to check it out. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Some crazy little roads to get there, though. <laughs> <laughs> But they're all in good shape. Oh, yeah. We should say that the North Carolina roads, every road we traveled on in North Carolina was in excellent shape. Yep. And uh, we're just barely into South Carolina, but so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. Langland? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, okay. Go to RV parking. Okay. So we came out from Huntington Beach State Park just a few minutes and we came into Merle's Inlet and found there's tons of restaurants over here but we discovered the Inlet Provision Company and wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. I, I challenge anybody if y'all come out here, they have a margarita that has jalapeno, it's a mango margarita with fresh jalapeno in it. I'm telling you what, never had that in Texas even. Loved it. It is spicy. I told him to tell the, uh, the bartender that it was incredible and it's, he made me sweat. As a Texan, <laughs> with that margarita, he made me sweat and it was incredible. And the food here, wow. Oh, delicious. And I had the beer flight, all local beers from around South Carolina, North Carolina, as far as Atlanta. They tell you where they're from. and. It was fantastic. 
The food was delicious. We ate on the back balcony or the back patio with a view oh, of the bay. Gosh, and oh, yeah. we had boiled peanuts. Never had boiled peanuts in my life. If you've never had boiled peanuts too, give them a try. I mean, they don't taste anything like peanuts. We love peanuts too, but oh gosh, was it good? I just, uh, I just can't express how good the food was here. Oh, we will definitely be back when we're next time we're in the area. They also own the Hot Fish Club, which is right behind the camera, right, right next door. Right over here. But it was closed today. Yeah. But we were happy to try the Inlet Provision Company. And like I said, there's a ton of options right here. We're literally less than 10 minutes drive outside of Huntington Beach State Park here yeah. in South Carolina. So, so if you're ever in the area, I'd say stop by. I mean, great place, great atmosphere, great food. Everything we had was delicious. And have that jalapeno mango margarita. <laughs> But if you don't like spice, stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tom has a new favorite. Yeah. <laughs> you ever have one of those days when you feel like Lily Tomlin? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Adelaide Castle here at Huntington Beach State Park. And this is the whole reason that the state park is here. This was the winter home of Archer and Anna Huntington. She was a sculptor. He, uh, his folks had money and his family had money and so he was a philanthropist. This was built in the 1930s as an escape from the cold winters and what I think is fantastic is they hired locals, even if they didn't have skills, to learn skills and help build the house so it was all locally supported. Let's go in and take a look. It costs $2 a person to tour. Oh, and by the way, they were RVers. Their garage held their RV back in the day. They said they were actually on their way down the Intercoastal Waterway on a cruise uh, back in, I guess, the late 20s or early 30s when they saw a pamphlet for uh, some gardens and plantations that were up for sale. And they came and fell in love with it and ended up building this right here, basically right on the beach. Another thing I wanted to add is that a neat story, too, is they were from formal society, you know, back up in Connecticut and stuff. And they wanted to make this casual. There are no formal dining rooms in here or ballrooms or any of that. They just wanted this to be casual. I guess that's why there are beers too, like yeah. us. I mean, it's all about being casual. We're not formal whatsoever. No. <laughs> <laughs> and they donated this place to the military oh back during world war ii yes they actually donated this to the military for uh for homeland security basically and they say even today sometimes uh shells will you know mortar shells not seashells seashells too but uh will wash up on the shore um from where they were doing training and so forth around the area yeah. these guys were unbelievable yeah for sure And one thing I think is cool too, because they were so into hiring the locals, even folks that were not skilled, they didn't care if a wall was slightly not aligned perfectly or the mortar wasn't perfect. It was all about being a part of the community. So that's awesome. Another really cool fact, Archer and Anna, 
their birthdays were both on March 10th. So that was so unique. So they decided when they got married, they got married on March 10th. So how cool is that? I mean, both of them only had one day if they really had to remember. <laughs> if you remember your own birthday, you remember your, your significant other's birthday as well as your anniversary. So how perfect is that? I've never even heard that before. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this was Archer Huntington's study, and so far it's the biggest room in the house that we found out of the 33 rooms. Uh, they say this is where all of the important work was done as far as his planning of Brook Green Gardens, which was across the street, and also uh, the many museums and institutions. They say everywhere he placed his foot, a museum sprung up because he was so philanthropical. <laughs> Nope, now we found the biggest room. <laughs> it is the indoor studio. This is where Anna, she was a sculptor. And obviously this is where she did her sculpting. And this place is huge. I mean, it's almost as big as a gymnasium. It's huge. Uh, and she had uh, a bathroom there, and I guess a storage spot over there. So yeah, big place. You can probably hear the echo in here. Yeah, you could have a little basketball game in here. Some of that new three-on-three -three, uh, from the Olympics. They could play some of that in here. <laughs> huh. Got a little natural light coming up in there. You walk right out to the outdoor studio. <laughs> and they say she actually preferred working out here when the weather was good. So she had the indoor studio for when the weather wasn't so good, but it has a 25 foot skylight in there because she loved the natural light. Yeah, this is really cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a very odd place for sure, but you know, really cool, and it's pretty awesome of them to donate this, uh, donate the land and everything for the state park. Yeah. Um, he was involved in, how many did you say, like 10 or 11 different? At least, museums. Museums mm -hmm. or parks, uh, donated a lot of stuff. And yep. very, never knew about them before we came here, but a uh, couple. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to learn more about them, I think. Yeah. And it was interesting too, because they, they say they get very mild winters here in this section of South Carolina on the coast, but every room, including every bathroom, has its own wood-burning fireplace. Yeah, that is true, that's interesting. I can see though, why they felt like this was a peaceful retreat. Because even now as a state park with other people touring, it's very quiet. So when it was just them here in this area, they would have felt like they were the only folks on earth, I think. Well, I don't know about you, but I am loving Huntington Beach State Park. We found this really by accident. We had other plans. Our plans kept changing over the summer. We kept having to rearrange. We tried to get a spot in Myrtle Beach and we didn't really find anything at the last minute. And so then we discovered this place and, and uh, we had gotten some recommendations when I realized when I went back and looked in my Google Maps, some folks had re re uh, said we should come here. And yes, 100%, I think that's true. It is a beautiful park. Now look at this, just a beautiful walkway. And this is obviously uh, wheelchair accessible. Yes. And they do have some accessible camping sites here too that are concrete and easy to get around in near the restroom.
Well, this is awesome, guys. Something that Stacy and I have really missed ever since the COVID times hit is, you know, all the extras at these state parks and stuff. And so here we are at their nature center and it is open. Woo! Yes, we haven't seen much of that. All awesome, South Carolina. We appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to go in and enjoy it. Out of the way. <laughs> what kind is that? This is a diamondback terrapin, and the road in here is called Terrapin Road. I had no idea what a terrapin was. Now I know. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Hi. Pretty big waves today. Yeah. Well, this beach here is the beach that is for the camping loop. Yeah, the access is directly, there's a couple of access points onto this stretch stretch of beach right from the north campground yeah they got a real nice boardwalk that yeah. comes out here and area to spray off yeah and this is our well we've only been here two nights and this is our second evening early evening we've come out and it's been beautiful yesterday there was hardly anybody here yeah uh, because it was raining most of the day yesterday but today's been beautiful a few more folks here very nice and most of the stretch of beach here in the state park, I think they said there's three miles of beach. Uh, most of it is dog friendly. They have to be on a leash, uh, but there is one stretch that goes into a bird sanctuary, Yeah. but there's a big sign, so you know where that is. Yeah, and Star's enjoying the beach here. Aren't you Star? <laughs> you like the beach, huh? You like the beach, Star? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's pulling me. <laughs> she's taking to it. I, I think, think my she likes it. doesn't like the water that much, but I think she's liking it. I think so. I think it feels good to her. <laughs> Great little boardwalk here. This goes directly into the north campground. The south campground also has a separate access to the beach, but just a beautiful, beautiful park. I can't wait to come back. This has been just a great surprise. And you know, we found this, I mean, we added this to our trip basically by accident. And sometimes that's, you find the best things that way. That's why you gotta be flexible with your plans. Yeah, this has been really a diamond in the rough. We really had no no idea. Wish we could stay here another week. Oh my but... gosh. In a couple of days, they're going to be doing a thing with the sea turtles where there's a lot of sea turtle nests along the shore that they've identified. And when a nest um, hatches, a few days later, they go in and they check the nest to make sure they count the eggs to see how many hatchlings they had. And if there are any little turtles that had trouble getting out of the nest, they help them out. They're gonna be doing that with the nest right over here in the next few days, but we're gonna be going. We're gonna miss it. Wah, wah. Maybe next time. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to our campsite here at Huntington Beach State Park in South Carolina. This is site number 129. 
there are a lot of sites here in this park. Uh, there's a few that are tent only, but most of them are tent or RV. Uh, we are in the 30 amp section. They have a north camping loop and a south campground. We're in the north campground. The north campground is mostly 30 amp and water. There are a few full hookup sites. The south campground is 50 amp full hookup. So you have options. Uh, and so uh, some of the sites are very shaded, like ours. And some are more open. Um, all have easy access to the beach. You can just walk right over. We're about as far as you can get from the beach and it's a simple walk, so we love that. Uh, even though we are 30 amp in water, uh, we were actually able to run like we were on 50 amp. We did laundry and we're able to run the washer and the dryer at the same time along with our air conditioning because of our new solar and lithium setup because our batteries actually make up the difference between the 30 and 50 amps. So I am loving that. That's a big reason why we did it because we love to camp in state parks and so many state parks there's only 30 amp connections. So I am loving that new setup. We bring you into our side. You can see we have a picnic table and a fire ring. Our neighbors are right there. They left this morning. However, we do have a little bit of separation between us. This has been a super quiet campground, even though it's very popular. And I gotta tell you, I love it. And being in this loop, even though we're further from the beach than other folks, we don't have anybody behind us, which I think is a huge plus. Now, before I let you go, I wanna tell you something that I love that South Carolina State Parks are doing. We've thought for a long time that this is something that Texas State Parks should do. So Texas, if you're listening, take a cue from this. They gave us this book, the South Carolina State Park Official Guide, and it lists inside it all of the South Carolina State Parks, and it gives information on each. This is Huntington Beach. Each of these has its own little area down in the corner where it has a unique place for it, a place for a unique stamp. We got our book stamped here at Huntington Beach. They have a program that if you go through and you get a stamp for all of their state parks, they send you a free t-shirt. So that is pretty cool. I love that. And it kind of reminds me of the National Park Passport that we have where we get stamps at all the National Park Passports. It's a fun way to keep track of your travels. So good job, South Carolina. This park has been absolutely beautiful, really, really clean. The bathhouse is amazing, one of the best we've seen. We actually took showers in there last night. And uh, the dump station is fantastic as well with multiple lanes and easy in and out. So highly recommend Huntington Beach State Park here in South Carolina. We will absolutely be back. Big thumbs up. Also give us a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be along for more adventures. Until next time y'all, we're gonna continue our East Coast journey. <laughs> Safe travels and happy camping. Bye.